My taxi driver is going a little nuts here. He's buying a lot. He's buying like, like a huge bag. How many vines, man? One, two, three, four, five, like 15 different vines. Bro, this guy's wild. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Today I'm actually leaving Samarkand and I'm going to Shahi Sabz, which is the hometown of Amir Timur, the most famous king in Uzbek history. It's about a 90 minute drive south, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Are you guys ready? Let's go see Shahi Sabz. We just exited Samarkand and as soon as you get out of the city, it becomes a straight up desert slash farmland. I mean, it really is like super hot out here. As you can see, you got mountains in the background. There's a few gas stations, a few homes, but a lot of agriculture, right? So I don't know exactly what we're seeing over here, but there is some farmland. I'm sure there's a lot of tomatoes happening, obviously figs as well in the area. And yeah, I mean, he was just telling me that Sabs is actually over this mountain range. We're about to go over it. That's why it takes so long. I thought it was a little weird because it looks so close, but because it's 90 minutes, there has to be some, you know, there's some climbing involved in terms of mountain. Mountain. We're currently entering the mountain area and it's completely changed. It feels like an oasis out here. There's like a lot of trees, there's like a small little lake right here, and you have this huge mountain. Wow, it just keeps going up and up. We're like zigzagging our way through here. Also, I think they're actually making uh, grapes right here, it's like a vineyard, right? A vineyard? Yeah, vineyard. Vineyard. Wine, wine here. Yeah. Vineyard. I don't know. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a vineyard right there. Right over here, we have more vegetation. Very little housing here, like tiny, tiny little huts. There's actually been some like, like uh, round mud huts that I've actually seen this before, like in Lesotho. And it reminds me more of that. The only difference is here, it's a lot hotter. Feels like, you know, desert slash at the same time, the oasis area. Wow, this is so different. It like completely changed from Samarkand to here. Whole different world. I'm sure up there it's really cold up in the mountains. All right, we're gonna stop right here right now to get the view. But there's also like a little market here. They have fruits. They have uh, suka fruits. They have peanuts. Wow, look at this. This is like real, real authentic. Wow, spices as well. Oh, it looks so good. Can I try one? Try one? Mm. Oh, you don't eat this. You eat this. Whoa. Whoa. It's rock hard. It's like yogurt balls. Mm. I don't know, so many things I've never seen before. Yeah. Almost like chalk that one. This is like a thick milky yogurt. And the view's right here. Woo! What an epic view. Mountains, rocks, trees, and the highway that crisscrosses throughout. This is so beautiful. So dry. Super hot. Let's see if I see anything else I want to try here. So here, we have, what do we have? Fig? Mm. Mm -hmm. Super dried out fig. Big nut in the middle. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a little bit a little too dry for me. I like it a little more moist and juicy. This market is basically selling milk balls, but these milk balls are a little different. They're like super, super dense. They taste like, like almost like chalk for real. And what a friend of mine was telling me is that you usually eat this with some beer. So you drink some beer and you eat this. They also have a lot of figs, a lot of dried figs. And right here they have apples. You guys didn't know? They have a lot of apples here in Uzbekistan. Apples are so good here. Can I take one? I'm gonna take one. Okay, I'm gonna take one. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else this is. There's also some peanuts here. This, what is this? What is this? I have no idea what that is. Can I try pistachi? Pistachi, one pistachi, one, sure. I oh, know, almond, almendra. Uh, almond, almond. Almond. Pistachio. Yeah, the pistachios are a little harder because they have the shell. Oh, oh. So I bought some roasted almonds. I got like very, very little. It's still a big bag. 
and I spent around 7,000, which is roughly 80 cents. She was trying to send me a kilo for like 7,500, which is seven, eight dollars. I don't really need that much, it's way too much. It would be seven times this little bag. This is what I got. This bag, and then they, he basically just said, take the app, it doesn't matter, and I don't make you pay for it. Look at that. Rahmat, Rahmat. 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 So now you know when you're heading down to Shahi Sabs, definitely stop at this market, get some almonds and apple, try a fig, get the view, and if you want, try that that like milk ball. I don't like it. I don't suggest it. This is what I love about road trips. You get to really experience, you know, the local culture. I mean, I don't even know how many people really come up here in terms of foreigners. But yeah, we saw so many things already that I didn't film. Like we saw a, like a horse running by. We saw people butchering a pig. Some kids like playing outside. I mean. Awesome experience and right here we have a van that van has melons up to the top of the roof like literally the whole entire van is full of melons <laughs> Oh my god, I don't get any of that but I know he said they're going down to Shahi Sabza and uh, and that's basically that's basically how they transport their fruits right always like fill up the car completely they usually do like that because these are small local vendors they don't have these huge trucks and yeah i really really loved these roasted almonds oh they're so good oh the landscape here is beautiful it's like these very shiny gold mountain not gold but like like yellowish with some trees here and there lots of rocks now we're descending the mountain on this side of the mountain it's completely full of boulders tons of boulders and he's saying shahi subs is right over there shahi subs yeah right there i can see that so we're stopping again to check out this lookout point okay wow i mean beautiful valley really really nice and you can see how they cut the streets through the whole entire valley around the mountains and it goes around shahi sabs is right over there it's like when once we pass all these mountains once we get out of the mountain range then we get there it's like he said another like 15 minutes roughly very very beautiful super hot though so you can see the rocks mountain wow never ending boulders up there so many boulders and here i guess it's like a little restaurant you just chill Relax, they bring you some food. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's a great view. Really nice view. Okay, let's get the Shahi Sabs. Woo! Wow, it is so hot. Hot, hot, very hot. Now that we've crossed the mountain range, we got into this valley. As you can see, it's really green, lots of houses, a lot of people selling stuff on the side of the roads. We just saw a donkey, and it's like, it's crazy how the mountain was like, like yellowish gold, it's on the other side, then it was really rocky, and now it's green. It's like, it's like this place has a whole different climate. Wow. Rahmat. All right, they're selling fruit. Let's see. Assalam. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, delicious. Okay, can I just try one? Can I just try one? It's okay if I try one? Yeah, try one. Bili, bili. Mm. Oh, wow. That's so good. Delicious grapes, wow. Super juicy, that one. Mm. They're saying one kilo, one kilo, five thousand? Five thousand. One kilo, five thousand, that's a great deal. Uh -huh. I'm okay, but can I, can I try one more? Can I try this one? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, so much water. Mmm. Mm -hmm. gushing. Mmm. No, I think there's a lot of seeds. Rahmat! Rahmat! These people are too friendly, they're too friendly. I know they want me to buy some, but I feel bad because I don't really need it, right? My taxi driver is going a little nuts here. He's buying a lot. He's buying like, like a huge bag. How many vines, man? One, two, three, four, five, like 15 different vines. Bro, this guy's wild. It's a lot of grapes. It's a few hundred grapes. In case you guys didn't know, Uzbekistan is a wine producing country. And my friend here was telling me, he's like, vino, vino, vino here. 
obviously those grapes come from vineyards so this is the wine producing region i don't know how many regions there are that produce wine in uzbekistan but i tried a little bit of wine so far it's really really good you know whenever you think uzbekistan you don't think wine just because most places around the world you won't find their wine i'm sure they don't export too much but yeah this is it we have entered and it's a small town I and mean, that's it it's basically a small town obviously it is unesco because there are a lot a lot of historical sites that we're gonna see and yeah i mean what i'm seeing right now is basically lots of different like uh automobile places like tire places some retail on the bottom level of this building a lot of like townhomes some vendors uh different trees out here you know this this area is the, like the land is so different in terms of the climate and right now we're going to be meeting with the tourism of the town they're going to be the ones showing me around Rahmat, Rahmat. So our journey from Samarkand all the way down to Shakri Zabs is over. It was really incredible driving through the mountains. I mean, you really get to see a different aspect of the country this way. You get to interact with locals. And personally, my favorite part about it was when we made it to the top of the mountain and we stopped at that market. They saw all these like milk balls. I personally didn't like that. I like the nuts. You know, I got some almonds, I tried some figs, I bought an apple, and everybody's super friendly. They come up to you and they let you try whatever you want. Then we made our way through the mountain. When we crossed it, the next side was super different. It was like green, very lush, and then there's also vendors obviously selling grapes. There's, so there's vineyards in the area. The grapes were super juicy too. I tried like two of them. Wow, they like burst in my mouth. Super different from anywhere else in the world. You know, way less dry. That was so different. And yeah, as you know, the fruits in this country are like really outstanding. Some of the best fruits on the planet. And now I'm gonna be exploring Shakri Sabs for the next 12 hours. So please stay tuned for the next videos on this beautiful UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Uzbekistan. Peace.